Surely. Uh, just got done. Just got a uh, nice breakfast burrito from the uh, gas station here. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and get in the truck real quick. Yep. Uh, so today we actually gotta go get a mower, and apparently he has a trailer to go for sale with it. So, because if you guys saw all we have, if we look here, oh, we already passed it. But all we have at our place is a camper. I mean, it is a toy hauler. We could haul the mower with it, or we could be a little sketchy and fit it in the bed of the truck, or we could just get a mower. Just go ahead and back up. Yep, perfect. <coughs> this is the trailer we were talking about. This is probably that mower you was talking about. And this is probably the other mowers. I, I think I like this John Deere better though. What do you guys think? And then he's got this mower. Oh, this might be the trailer you was talking about. This is a nice truck. Wonder what kind of hitch he has on it. Alright, looks like he has a pintle hitch on it. Not really sure though. Uh, I don't really know how that's just disconnected. Let's put it back on for him. I'm gonna see if I can get a deal for that trailer and... I think we'll go with the John Deere mower and the Honda Push mower, but uh, I'll see you guys when we get a deal. In my opinion here, I think we got a really good deal. We just picked up the trailer, the golf cart, and both the mowers for $5,000. Now that is a 20, I think 2021 mower. Very new. This golf cart might be a little old, but it was only like 700 bucks. And then the trailer was the most expensive, but this is a pretty nice trailer. But I think we'll be able to fit the zero turn on the back of it. Hopefully our truck... Yeah, I, we already got the mower in the back. Hopefully our truck uh doesn't have too much of a problem towing this. It shouldn't though. Ford built tough, am I right? Alright, so it looks like we're pulling up to the house here in just a second. I think it's the one next to you on the right. Yep, it is. So, I I think, I don't think that the grass needs to be cut today. I think it can be cut tomorrow or next time or next video. But it, it should be fine. Yeah, it's not too high. It's just a little bit of a tall plant. That's about it. And I actually did an oil change on the side beside there. I thought it would be a good little thing to do, especially because, you know, I was riding it a lot. I just got to make sure that it doesn't uh, uh, lack in oil and that the oil's all good in it. I also got some new fuel tanks. Put those in it because they were pretty small. So now we can go trail riding with more fuel. I just want to do one little pass here to test out the mower because the guy didn't want us to test it there. Maybe we'll mow the whole yard today. You're not really sure. Let's go ahead and start it. Oh man, this is nice. Don't want to mow the whole yard now. Maybe we can do it uh, tomorrow. I don't really know. But uh, we'll go ahead and put this lawn mower away. We're actually going to... looks like we're going to need to build a bigger shed here soon. For all of the toys and stuff. But that should be fine. We can always just get another shed, but we will have to either build one or find one. And I want to see how good this go kart is, or this golf cart is, and how good it fits on the trailer. Uh, yeah, and how good it'll fit on this trailer, maybe with the four wheeler, for when we do go camping. <laughs> see how it is to load both of these up real quick. <coughs> I'm not really sure if the golf cart will fit, but we do have the inside of the camper too. We can go ahead and strap this down right here. Mm, it might fit. If it's okay, if it doesn't, maybe we can just take the toolbox out of the truck. Never mind, because there's the fifth wheel. Oh. Always got to make sure you're up on the ramps. 
Nice and snug. We'll have room to get even more toys into the camper. It's close, but it works. Go ahead and strap this down real quick here. Then I guess we'll go ahead and fold up this trailer. Can we make a use run right here without going into the bushes? Yeah, pretty close though. Now we're actually going to need to undo this trailer. That trailer I picked it up for I think three thirty five hundred bucks. Not really sure. But now alright, we're gonna have to go ahead and get this tailgate down. Alright, tailgate is down. And then Now we will have to see. Alright, so I don't think it's gonna be snowing when we go there. But in case for some odd reason it does, I guess we could bring the snowmobile. I know the dirt bike wouldn't perform well under snow because it doesn't have studded tires or anything. Now we're just gonna go ahead and go here and. Whoa. Man, I forgot how good this thing does in second gear. It goes really fast. Just gonna cut off that bike. Oh my god, turn off the gas on it. Alright, I think that kids and the wife are going to be cleaning the camper. And I'm just in charge of loading stuff up. But we definitely don't need to bring any of the motors camping. That would be a little weird. So, we, But we're going to bring this just in case. Maybe we can water skip with it depending on how fast it can go. And if there is any ponds or anything. Go ahead and back it on up here. Hey, I don't think the dog's gonna be coming with us today, but it would be cool to get the dog to come with us one day here. Go ahead and fold everything up, well, at least the back up, but disconnect the trailer. And then, I think we can go ahead and, yeah, we can bring that up. Now we gotta hook up to this trailer to the back. No, I think, yeah, we're not going to really, really drive it, so I'm going to see if I can just drag it here. Got it. Now, this will be an overload, maybe, for the truck. Alrighty, so we are all hooked up. Truck looks like it can pull it. I don't know how the trailer's doing back here. Let's just do, go ahead and fold up camper. Now, let's just go ahead and take it down. Oh. Up to the gas station real quick. We're just gonna have to find a spot to turn around. That's gonna be tough. Maybe we can just oh oh there's I forgot about that sidewalk. I didn't see it there. We should be able to make this turn. Just gotta swing it wide. Man, it's really tough. It keeps on jerking the truck forward, you could feel it. It right, looks like we got it. I'll go ahead and just floor it. How fast are we going? Let's see. Go ahead. Are we going 60 miles an hour? I'm going to go ahead and get gas in this real quick. We're just going to go ahead and put the card in. That in right here. All right, I'm going to go get a battery for this thing real quick. Already just got a new battery for the golf cart. It just takes like six batteries, but he said only one of them is wrong. So I'm going to put that in at the house later tonight in the garage. But I'm going to have to see if we can pull the truck out of this. It could be tough. Oh, shoot. Forgot to get the gas out of the uh, or the pump out of the side by side. We're going to take that out. All right, we're good here. I'm going to have to buff that out in the garage. Little buff. And do that later tonight. So it's looking like, like we still got everything. We're ready to go camping. We just need to clean up the camper a little bit. And 
Oop, antenna's flying. We need to clean up the camper a little bit, and I need to get these new batteries in the golf cart. Besides that, though, we are looking really nice. And, uh, I'm glad we could take all the toys with us. Now, hopefully, I mean, it's... It's November. Maybe we'll get some snow while we're camping. Not really sure, but we can always bring it just for the hopes. Even though we're just across town, we're not going too far for this camping trip tomorrow. Now we actually are going to need to unload that, yes. And, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and comment. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And, uh, if you guys remember, we have the website. Go ahead and check it out in the description below.